This is Laser Piglet. Laser Piglet is a young guy who likes two things in this world. One of them is anime waifus and the other is using a butterfly emerald to mess with scammers. Obviously, a knife like this will be a tantalizing prize for any would-be thief, but unfortunately for them, this piglet is one step ahead and is going to be making sure they have an extremely bad day. So, let's get into things. Now, this video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey. SkinsMonkey is a site where you can quickly and easily trade your CSGO skins. Just log in through Steam, add your trade link, and you're good to go. Just select the skins you want to trade, and you'll have a trade offer within seconds. Any excess will be added to your balance, and if the skin you want isn't tradable, it can be reserved for you until it is. There's also a built-in high-definition inspect feature, and if you're topping up, make sure to use the code Hazus to get an extra 5% bonus on the balance you deposit. And that same code will also get you a bonus of up to $5 when you do your first trade. Now, on top of this, the site also hosts daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways, so even if you don't have skins, there is something here for you to check out. Great site, recommend having a look, link is in the description. Now, the thing about CSGO scammers is that you don't come to them, they come to you. And it is very easy to get these dumb fucks attentions. For example, there's this guy called adding you to help, please accept, spamming this copy pasta. And by the way, he has not checked your friends list. Again, it's a copy pasta, but he does recommend that you only sell to legit traders. Excellent advice. Unfortunately, one of the three people he recommends isn't even a trader at all. I don't mean there's a slight against honor, by the way, like I know he'd help you, but he's also still not a trader. Anyway, these guys will do. We're gonna leave a comment on each of their profiles, one on Honor's profile, one on Zippo's profile, and I was gonna leave one on Anomalies too, but it turns out he's one step ahead of my tricks and locked his comments, but still, this should be enough. Let's see what happens. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm feeling kind of popular at the moment. Now, there are actual people here trying to help me, by the way, like this guy who is giving actual good advice. Other people, though, are just outright lying about the price of my butterfly emerald to try and scam me. It is worth a lot, but it is not worth $20,000. And believe it or not, I got added by an actual Valve employee with a highly credible certificate of eligibility on his profile. This certifies that Alexis Eastwood is Steamworks developer slash administrator and given the authority to help traders with their concerns. Very believable. But I've also been added by a certain Zippel. Now, you probably know who Zippel is, but I am definitely getting some weird vibes from him here. I mean, firstly, there is literally anime on his profile. I mean, Maybe he's just going through his weeb stage, but I mean, Zippo's like 37 or something, so it's, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? Also, apparently he's also a deaf guy called Winston from Germany. I'm not joking, this is literally on the profile. Oh, and he's also an anime fan. And here I thought I respected you, Zippo. Anyway, obviously I was honored to have Zippo reaching out to me, and you know, why take a chance on any of these randoms when the most credible trader in the entire scene is reaching out to you on an old account for some reason. While he's on vacation in Malta. I don't know, maybe he forgot to be in login details for his main or something. So Zippo was like, Hello, so you sailing your knife? You there? And I was like, hello, yes, I have a knife. Now Zippo replied, How much are you sailing your knife? Jesus, Zippo's English has gone to shit. Anyway, this guy obviously isn't going to try and whine and die me. I know I said I was going to sell my knife in that comment, so he's probably going on that, but it doesn't sound like small talk is going to be his thing, so I replied, the Steam market says $2,000, that seems too much to be real to me, I don't know. Yes, it's real because it's emerald, I can buy it for 2,001, I mean 21,000. So I replied, wait, you mean 2,100 right, not 21,000, again, I'm trying to make him think I'm absolutely clueless here, so he's more patient with my bullshit, and he went, 21,000 a man. As you can see, it's emerald. I'm pretty sure it's a knife. I don't think he can get emeralds in CSGO. It's a shooter, not Minecraft, dude. It's game of double emerald. But how do I know? Like, I want to sell it, but I want to be sure. Now, he replied with a very badly cropped screenshot of the skin, which somehow managed to cut out the price in the process, defeating 
the whole point of it. I have no idea how you managed to mess that up. And if I was actually clueless, this would probably just make me even more confused. So I replied, oh, that's very green. So that's special. Yes, do you like my offer? No, Zippo, I don't. You've done a terrible job explaining yourself. But in any case, I decided it was time to really start turning a few screws here. This guy probably thinks I'm a brain lit at this point, so I could safely dial it up a notch. And by dial it up a notch, what I mean is that I'm going to be a bit of a c So I responded with, I'm not sure. Like, I've heard of you, but you aren't a real skins expert like on a pixel. Do you know somewhere I could check? Try and check it here. HTTPS colon slash slash skin cells dot net. Now, this linked me to a pretty normal phishing site. Basically, this window here is like a fake built-in pop-up window designed to steal your details. If I did sign into this, I would be completely fucked. And when I saw this, I was a bit worried. Often, when I troll scammers, this is kind of where things end. Their whole scheme is to get me to sign into this site so they can steal my account. And because I won't do that, it kind of all ends there. But interestingly enough, Zippo didn't really seem too determined to get me to sign into it. Like, I think this was his backup plan. He wanted to scam me directly. And in the meantime, he was busy working his social engineering magic on me. I am a real skin expert. I have a lot of expensive items. I know all of it. Oh yeah, totally dude. Tons of expensive items here. Anyway, I was like, oh, hold on. I just asked a friend. He says you're right. I told you, I know all the big bro is my friend. We are Skin Collector. Oh, someone's really playing up their Honor Pixel connections here. Big fucking- Anyway, I replied, Wow, Honor is a very nice guy to be friends with you. Uh, no. So, this guy was apparently completely fine with being cuckolded by Honor. Fuck me dry. So, I decided to switch topics again to see if I could bargain him up a bit. So, I replied, My friend said it's worth more like $22,500 though. Is that right? Could you do that? Okay, deal, I'll do it. Max price, 22500 Can you tell me the payment method? Now, obviously this is an insane price, almost twice as much as any actual trader would ever give you, but given this guy is just going to scam us, he doesn't care. He just needs us to send him a trade, and he will say anything to do that. So, I replied, oh crap, that's a lot. How many notes is that? Could I even carry it? Ha ha. Many, bro. Okay, so how do you pay? My dad would help if you're still alive, but I'm going to need some help. You can do bank account, PayPal, ETC, ETH, any crypto, any payment method. Just tell me. Well, I normally just use cash. Do you have bank account or your daddy bank account? I just told you my dad was dead, you fucking asshole. Anyway, I replied, I think the boss says he uses crypto to avoid the pigs. He doesn't pay me in it, though, but maybe I could try this crypto. Okay. Give me a dress. A dress? More than a dress for crypto so I can send it. Is this like a location where my crypto is kept? That's a wallet address where I can send my payment. Well, great job there, Ivan. 10 out of 10 explanation of what a crypto address is. Anyway, I was like, okay, can you give me a minute? I'll have a look. Okay, just drop the payment method here, okay, so I can send the payment. Now, I wanted to play dumb a bit more here and give him my street address or something like that, but... I was worried he'd get suspicious, so instead, I decided to buy myself a little breathing room so I could mess with him in a different way. So I went, okay, I'm looking. I think I need 10 minutes. Is that okay? Okay, but can you check the knife price here? HTTPS colon slash slash skin sales dot net. I just want to know the price there. So he was back trying to get me to sign into this phishing site, which I obviously wasn't going to do. So instead, I decided to throw him a bone and make him think I was playing along. So I said, okay, just let me do my crypto first. Can you give me a moment? Then I'll check. Okay, okay. Now, since he was expecting me to take a bit, I decided to drop something off topic in the chat. So I went, by the way, how did you get to be friends with Honor? Like, did you give him money to recognize you or something? We are high tech collection, bro. We made a lot of deal on Steam. Gee, you're sounding a bit subordinate there, Zip. We're really leaning on Honor for your credibility. Big fuck. But anyway, this is the good old I made a deal with this high tier trader line a lot of scammers like to use. A lot of them like to claim they did deals with Stack, actually, which is pretty funny given Stack hasn't traded for years and is literally the scammer himself, but it's important to note here that doing a deal with a big trader is not proof of shit, even if the deal actually happened. Scammers love to say they did deals with some big guy to get your trust, and whether it's me or Zippo or Anomaly or Honor or Stack, 
if you see anyone doing this, it basically confirms they're a scammer and you should go ahead and block them. Now, Zippo got back to work trying to convince me to click on his phishing link, but I was not having anything of it. Instead, I decided to keep to the Honor Pixel topic and said, but he's so much bigger than you. He's up there with the likes of Thorin and Richard Lewis. I'm just surprised that he has time for you. Oh, by the way, crypto is done. Which one do you want to pay? Okay, that's great. I can do BTC, ETH. I've heard about one called Doge. Could we try that? Apparently it's named after Elon Musk. Okay, sure. Drop payment details. Now, in response to this, I decided to keep wasting his time by dropping a Doge meme and going, Oh my god, ha ha ha. Zippo actually put a like on this, or whatever this is. So, I decided to test his patience even further by acting dumb about the payment details. So, I just went, Okay, so like, what's the payment details? Your wallet address for crypto. Like, where I keep it at? Yes. No, no Zippo, that's that's not what it is. Anyway, Zippo followed up by sending an example address. He's really lucky here I'm a troll rather than an actual clueless kid because there is no way I'd be able to figure out what to do just by talking to him like he's terrible at explaining shit. So I sent him a picture of my Doge wallet and said, I mean, it's like in my computer. So do you want where my computer is at? This, paste it here. Hey look, apparently you can explain it fine if I just give him the fucking code. Anyway, I pasted it into chat and then he responded by saying, Yes, that's it. Okay, so can you pay? 22,500 US dollars, right? Now, Zippo replied to this by sending me a trade offer with a message saying that the payment is pending. Obviously, it's not pending when I accept it, he's just gonna block me. And this is kind of where we were going to reach an impasse. The only question now is, how angry can I make this guy before he gives up and blocks me? So I was like, but how do I know you've paid yet? Is that like a receipt? I'll send you a receipt and you'll see it to your balance. I already send you an offer. Tell me when you have done accepted. I'll prepare the payment. But I don't see it in my balance. Like, if you were a proper trader like Honor, I'd trust you. I didn't send it. It's just a bend and tell me if you accept the offer so we can send the payment. Now, I went and accepted the offer and sent him a screenshot of the offer in chat. Obviously, I didn't confirm it on mobile. In fact, I wasn't even logged in on my mobile. And I said, okay, I accepted the offer. So, you'll send payment? Once I receive the nap, I'll send the payment. Tell me when you don't accept it. But I did what you said. How do I know that any of this is safe? You're just some small trader, Zippo. Accept it on your mobile also. I am not, bro. Mobiles? Mobiles aren't safe. The police can track us on them. You need to confirm on your Steam mobile app. I can ask the boss, but I don't trust you. You have anime on your profile. That is a red flag. Now, after being caught out for his degenerate weave habits, I think Zippo started to get a bit worried, so he decided he was going to need to assure me that he totally was the real legit Zippo, not some filthy imposter. So he went to the actual Zippo's account and got a screenshot of its inventory for me. My inventory value, and I'm a legitimate trader on Steam. I don't want to lose my reputation. Now, I sent back a screenshot of the inventory on the account the scammer was using, and I said, where can I see that? This is all I see. And the scammer replied by providing a trade link to the actual Zippo's account without any explanation for why he was on an alt. Now, at this point, I decided to bring up the team that Zippo co-owns, Ecstatic. So I spammed, wait, you own Ecstatic in all caps? And the scammer was like, of course. He was probably hoping that I was some kind of super fan who was going to instantly trust him for this, but uh, not quite. Instead, I was like, lol, that team sucks. If you can't afford a proper team, how the hell can you afford my knife? Like, spend it on better players, dude. And Zippo's response to me shitting on his beloved Danish CSGO team was to say, Did you check my inventory value? I am co-owner. Well, what a genuine or authentic response. You could always be tricked into thinking this is the real guy. So I replied, yeah, why are you holding on to so much money in skins when you can buy plays that don't get 16 owed instead? Oh, honestly, better get out there soon, son. Sees it now, no mistake, 16, nothing. That's stupid. Do you want to sell it or not? I don't want to lose my time here. I have a lot of clients here. Oh yeah, sure, Ivan. I bet you've got tons of clients living in your mum's basement in Volgograd. Anyway, I replied, of course I want to sell. Then confirm it to your mobile so I can pay. I don't trust you to pay though. You aren't a proper trader like Onapixel and you've got some dodgy team that sucks at CSGO. 
I am a get and trustable trader than you. Holy shit, the ego in this Anyway, I replied, I mean, you do have your name on your Steam profile. That's trustworthy. Can I trust you? Of course, I am not doing this for scam. Ah, oh, well, I guess that clears it up. He says he's not a scammer, so I guess I'm safe. Anyway, I replied, well, you see, the problem is, your profile says you're a Winston from Germany, when the real Zippo is an Oliver from Denmark. Did you forget your name and where you live, Zippo? Now, I just called this guy out. That, that was me literally saying to him, dude, the game is up, I know you're a scammer. And no joke, in response, he says this. Just read it. Here, if you don't want to sell this nap, it's okay, just don't waste my time. I'm not going to go send my money first for random traders, and you don't have any reputation like me. Are you kidding me how dumb is this guy i literally just said to him like games up homie i know you're an imposter and here he is acting like he's a big shot trader anyway i shot back reputation you don't even know what zippo's name is or where he lives lol fuck you bro hope you're more than that too and with that i was blocked i hope i completely ruined his day too homie's been impersonating a lot of people since i trolled him by the looks of things he's pretty dumb though so i doubt he's been having any success but uh i should probably check my mum's okay because he's probably cast some russian black magic on her or something and i, I love my mum she's really important to me so i might go check in with her just to be sure Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.